Yo, what is up guys? Don Patchy out here. Um, today I'm with Arabian Rider and we're just gonna do my chain and sprocket. Oh, there's the old one. Guess who's back? Yeah. It's Wrenchy. Let me do it over here so there's no non-play. It's Wrenchy. It's Wrenchy, the big boy wrench. This thing, 18 inch. <laughs> Don't mess with this big bad boy. So I'm kind of a weird person. Doesn't make a difference, but you can see this is all clean. And that one's got like two little lines going this way and this way. So that matches up with the lines of this. So it doesn't make a difference, but I like to keep the outside, outside, inside, inside, put it on. And then this is how you avoid having the situation that Chase on two wheels is having on his uh, wrecked bike rebuild, where he's got bolts and nuts everywhere. Put them on, put them in line, the order that it's supposed to be on, put the nut on by hand and you won't lose anything. So that's that. And now we need to loosen this to get your uh, shoe brake off. Although it does, oh shit, so there's a bolt there and a bolt there. Does this just come off? Yeah, but I don't want to fuck up the brake there. Fucking drum brakes are so shit. <laughs> this is like so small to try to grab onto. <sighs> okay. All right, you push that down. I'll set the camera there, watch you. All right, seven that side so you got leverage. All right, just make sure it doesn't go this or this yet. Make sure it stays flat on there. All right, so hold on to the edge. I'm gonna hold on to this. All right, put both hands, put one hand here, pushing in. Yeah, go. Okay, next one, next one. We just wanna crack them. Go. Get on the edge of it. Yeah, right on the end. Open your hand so you don't punch the floor. Did that one open? Yeah, all right, next. So on this bike, the CBF, I was able to just like take the sprocket off. Now it is going to be irritating because it's not flat, so those things might fall out when I put them back in. But you can see um, I don't want to take that off because it's, it's like spring loaded and stuff, the uh, shoe brakes. If they are the same as what I've dealt with before, I don't know, but I don't want to take off that bolt and then come down here and take off that bolt. Um, it would probably be a lot easier, but hey, sorry, I'm doing it this way for now. And there's our fire going, keeping us slightly warm. You've got two different ones, so you, you know, you don't, you, you can't remember, let's say that you can't remember which way it came off. That's just got a round hole, so you know that was just nut side. You can see this side, look, look at all that dirt, and look at where it's clean. It's got the same shape on this side, so you know that the bit that's got the edge is the bit that's on the outside. So you're going to get this, you can see it's the same, flat, and it's got the lip out on the edge, and just put it on. There, fits on great, 42. You can't see this one because it's all dirty, but it's probably a 42 as well. Yeah. Just about to see it, just about right there, but it's filthy. It says 42 on there. Okay, so, never go crazy unless you think that you're a professional. So just do it by hand, not by gun. If you cross thread these, then who really cares because it's a 125. It's not got enough torque. You'll probably be alright with three, but don't take my word on it. I'm just cracking jokes here. <coughs> banter about one two fives so put it in by hand Jesus, it looks so fresh compared to the old one yeah definitely old one needs to change. and then put it on tighten get it all the way down that's where it stops could probably put some uh, thread lock on it, but if it ever comes loose, we'll do it again. Okay. Oh, wow. I just noticed two broken teeth. So there's okay. one broken teeth, tooth. So that's there's another broken teeth. Oh, three, four. Four broken teeth. What, you mean you felt it skipping when you're going? Yeah. Damn, boy. So this was definitely that, needed of I, a change. If I go from neutral to first, yeah. Flick it to second, it will go back into neutral. And okay. I thought it was just my clutch. <sighs> Look at this sprocket. <laughs> Look at the chain as well. Bam, it looks rusty. Call it a rusty, you know. So we just sit this back in between there. Okay, one of them doesn't want to sit. 
All right, which one of you are being difficult? There we go, that side. Okay. That looks so fresh. <laughs> now, for the sake of keeping everything simple, let's put this back on. Ah, and this is where it gets interesting, so. Let's lift up the wheel. Stick my screw under it. Let's move it. Starting to tug on that one, so I need to do it evenly. Need to make sure that this plate isn't bending. Yeah, it's actually pulling the sprocket, I think. Yep. Perfect. Too much, I feel like you could snap it if I go more. Okay, it's gonna have to get dirty. That came off. So you can just about see that one now. So I'll put one end in there, try and catch it, and one end to the frame. And I've got 4.4 mil there. But the chain's obviously still loose. But at least you can see because if I did it to if I did it to this, this moves. So you're not gonna get an accurate one. So I'll go from that marker to the frame. That's what I measure, and I'll put them both the same, or as close as I can get it. My nose is running get it as close as I can that way I know that both sides are going straight as straight as I can sometimes they'll be a little bit off and people will tell you it doesn't matter I just like to do things as best as I can so now gloves back on and you're gonna get the 12 mil will be easy to do So what is up guys? So yeah, I'm just coming back from Abe's house. We fit the chain on, fit the fit the sprocket. See how seeing how it feels. It feels good right now. Uh, did a bit of maintenance on his bike as well. Woohoo, that was icy. Difference. I just felt the power in that. Damn, I just felt the power in that.